Hi there, it's Ina here. And the year is nearly done, just a few more days left. And that means I was able to finish up a project I have been working on all through the year. And that is following a Facebook group called Art Journal Prompts and doing weekly pages for my journal. Now the first 26 pages I have covered in a previous video and of course the link to that will be below. They are kept in this folder here and the second folder is now complete as well with the remaining 26 pages. So I want to give you a little flip through of this one. Now the pages are held in with these Chicago screws and it works well for simple storage but they don't flip so well. So I'm going to take these out so I can give you a closer look. Now not to make this video too long, I'm trying to keep it brief and I hope that the pages will speak for themselves. So let me zoom in a little bit so I don't have to lift the page and you get a good view. There we go. So I always added the prompt right on the page itself. So this was of course, yeah, week 27. It was called gold. So I created this gold mask just using acrylic paints. It's basically a painting. It does have some outlining with Sharpie and a gel pen. The background was, I don't even remember. I think it's my Neo Color 2. And I added some rub-on letters here, which spell out the word. All right, the next page. Here the prompt was rework an old page. So it's a little bit hard for you to imagine what it looked like before, but basically he wasn't there. The quote was a lot longer. The washi tape wasn't there. And the original image was never something I cared for. So I added this fellow here by mounting him on a book page. There's some distressing going on, some outlining. I added the washi tape and the quote still made sense even after I cut a piece out of it. And that's pretty much it, maybe a little shading. So here is Einstein Jr. <laughs> the next prompt was chaos. So I basically created a crazy background with circles and splatters and colors and then I used up a lot of these alpha stickers, colorful ones, which have been in my drawer for way too long. These are just letters taken from a magazine. I ripped them out, I glued them down, etched them and purposely added the A upside down. So that's that one. The next page, the prompt was summer. So I created these flamingos and a sun. It's done with Neo Color 2 again. I remember I was camping actually and did it there. So I had my Neo Colors 2 with me and I used a Sharpie and a gel pen. These are some alpha stickers spelling out the prompt and that's pretty much it. So there are those. Whoops, one at a time. Uh, the next one, the prompt was credit card or fingers. So you weren't allowed to use a paintbrush or anything like this. So the background was completely created just with my fingers. I used acrylic paints all throughout. And then I created these birch trees with a credit card. You know how you can just smudge out black edges to create these uh, birch trees. So there's that one. The next prompt was hearts and I created first a rainbow background with my Neo Colors, a little splatter, a little stenciling on it. And then I cut out a paper heart and colored the edges and then smudged it out, always decreasing the size of the heart. Now it's a very, very simple technique. I did even when I was a little girl and this is covered in a video. After doing that, I just blackened out the background, added another heart edit the word and that's it. Yeah, I quite like this page. So it's funny when you do pages like this every week, not everyone is your favorite, but there are always some you really enjoyed. So this one, the prompt was called Moroccan inspired. So I added a window here taken from a coloring book, a window frame I painted around it. I created this little bubble pipe here by drawing it out and painting it and stenciling the background, the word here. That's pretty much it. 
the next one the prompt was friends and I had this lovely picture of these two guys and so I added them and I added the fishing rod I added a little bit of an indication of a grassy hill here and it was all added to a background I created just by simply picking different color magazine pages and ripping them up and making a collage so it goes from pink to purple to light teal and so on that was quite fun to create the next prompt silhouette now for whatever reason this image was the first one that came to mind you figure so I created a background looking like floorboards just by using my ruler and some different paints outlining it and so on then I used proper duct tape to go around this shape I used alcohol inks for all the red and of course it has shading and outlining and yeah it's kind of a fun page all right the next page the prompt was nature oops and I took it to me nature calls so here's my cute little puppy I drew and painted him and the tree there's some stenciling going on with a homemade leaf stencil and pretty simple but kind of cute the next prompt was C and I started by adding just a white napkin all over the page to create a little texture painted the background the sunset and the beach and then added these two elements they also came from a napkin I mounted them first on another piece of paper added them to here a little shading a little gesso here and there that's it the next prompt was abstract and I happen to have a background already made it has all kinds of colors on it dots and circles and splatters and line so I cut it up in diamonds with my paper cutter and added it to a black background pretty simple but I think the effect is quite nice I was also able to add these alpha stickers right here in the empty space all right let's see the next one was called three colors and I took the liberty not to count black and white so I have blue red and yellow I created this background with the stripes it makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional this is the magazine image this big blue flower there is a lot of outlining going on some dots here all around the edges and that's pretty much it so here is again the prompt three colors the next prompt was collage and that's of course right up my alley I really like to make collages and I think this came out really nice this is definitely one of my favorite pictures the background was taken from a magazine and enhanced with gesso and different colors then there is the bus stop this gentleman and the two wings those were the main elements I added the little dots come from the paper punch you use to make holes in your pages and that's pretty much it some outlining some glitter and here he is yeah I I really like this one <laughs> the next prompt was q-tips again it was to be the tools to create a page so I made these feathers I outlined them with black acrylic paint I added proper string with some silver leaves here a couple of pieces of bling and I think the background is just simple watercolors some shading of course and so on the next prompt was leaves and this is also one of my favorites I found this pretty ballerina picture in the magazine and I added these artificial leaves I had in my drawer to create a dress for her I also added some leaves here on the bottom and of course some glitter and it was really fun to lay them out in a way that it was complementary to her form so the smaller leaf is right here over her shoulder yeah this I had a lot of fun with the background very simply some splattered watercolors some stenciling of these music notes so there she is
The next prompt was inches. And I have to be honest, I have a hard time working really, really small. So I thought I'd make it easier on myself and created these two big inches on a separate piece of paper. It has some jelly print on the back, some stenciling, some die cuts and so on. I added them to the page with some shading, but also added this ruler. And if you look closely, you can see that one inch on the ruler is exactly as big as one of my inches. So yeah, those are my size inches. <laughs> The next prompt was autumn or fall. And yeah, what happens every autumn and fall? Right, I did a little painting here, drawing, painting. The window is cut from a magazine and so is the cup and the flip-flop, but everything else I painted. Again, I think Neo color too, and maybe some Sharpies. Yeah, here it is. The next prompt was assemblage. Now I often do my assemblages on something a little more sturdier than an art journal page. So I had to be a little careful and hold myself back not to add too many pieces to it. But the main elements are these little bread ties here, which I think make great texture. It has also bits and pieces of paper underneath it. I added a wooden key, a wooden little owl on a piece of canvas, a little tag, there is a little piece of lace, string, and some bling here and there. And then it was all covered in gesso and then colored. So here it is. It's a little bit the way I also make my bigger assemblage pieces. So the next prompt was opposites. So I painted and drew this little guy and those big legs because yeah it was just the first thing that came to mind again very simply done i believe neo color two watercolors i stamped the word i did a little bit of stenciling in the background shading and yeah there he is waiting for the day when he is all big so oops, let's do it this way. So there is a prompt remembrance. I embossed this. I think it was just the time when I got my first embossing powder. Now I think this happened on Remembrance Day, which is celebrated differently in different countries. But anyway, this was the image that came to mind. So I created this DNA chain, I created the world and the peace sign. And the background is all kinds of splatter of watercolors, I believe, some sprays, some stamping of script. And yeah, that's it. I'm not telling you every little detail. Of course, most of my pages are edged with different mediums. The next prompt was circles. So here is my little alien and he has a lot of circles or she does, who knows. Uh, circles right here, circles in the background. And yeah, I quite like this page. Again, this was done on one of my camping trips. But then when I came home, I added the word circles here by embossing it again. So here is my alien lady, I guess. And then we entered December. And for the month of December, there was only one prompt given called festive with the idea to do something festive for the rest of the weeks left in the year. So I started with this one. I created a collage background. I used an old a Christmas card because I just love the image. I cut off some pieces of the card I used down here. I did stenciling of the trees first in green and white and then just the word festive. And these were little alpha stickers which are actually Christmas ones. They have little holly on the corners there. So next came another festive page. Uh, but I didn't want to add the same prompt to all the pages. So for this one, I opted to use the word fir tree. And I created the background by using simple kids crayons and a baby wipe to blend it all out. I stenciled all these snowflakes as, well, I have a stencil for these, which I never use, but once a year. 
And then I created this little tree by using a Christmas ribbon. And that was harder than it looks because it didn't really want to glue very well in a circle. And even these things, I had to make them pretty straight. Originally, I had hoped to make it a little more wavy. But okay, it came out okay. It has some uh, glitter on it. And so there it is. And then the next page, this is actually covered in one of my videos. This was a video I posted just last week and it has my Christmas greeting in it. And it's just a simple painting with some stenciling with dimensional paint. And you can look all the details up in my video. And that brings me to the last page I just completed yesterday. And for the last page of the year I saw it, Happy New Year is fitting. So I created this kind of explosion idea in the background here. Oops, pull it down a little. Now this was done by cutting a square piece of origami paper apart, changing the edging and it already came with these rays and these little sparkles but I redid the sparkles, added this piece which is just from a magazine and then the words down here, Happy New Year 2018. And I worked on the black background and that's it. That's page 52. The year is done and it feels kind of nice to have these two journals all completed. I will put this in there properly later. So here they are and I want to take this opportunity to thank Nina Rubena who comes up with all the prompts every week for her inspirational help to get these journal pages going. I also want to thank all the other prompters and their kind comments and thumbs ups and likes. So thank you so much and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. Bye bye for now.